Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Paperboy. Paperboy is a bike riding platform game that was developed by Atari in 1985. Once upon a time, there was a thing called newspapers. Newspapers were a printed publication usually issued daily or weekly, consisting of folded unstapled sheets and containing news, featured articles, advertisements, and correspondence. You could sometimes catch your grandfather reading one of these if you get up early enough. Paper boys were usually kids on bikes who delivered newspapers to people's homes. They were usually seen in residential areas and or the suburbs. In this game, you play as a paper boy who must deliver newspapers to customers' houses without causing any damage or getting hit yourself. Do a good job and you'll have new subscribers on the following day, or you can lose subscribers by damaging their homes. You can tell which are the subscribed areas versus non-subscribed houses by their color. Basically, a brightly colored house is a subscriber. You can also vandalize non-subscribers' homes for additional points. There are also many obstacles to avoid, such as basically everything. Just avoid anything moving precariously on the screen. If you can make it through your route, you'll head into the training course, pass it, and you'll receive a bonus. You can't lose a life here even if you mess up. Paperboy has seven stages, or in this case, seven days. If you pass all the stages, you'll gain front page recognition for your efforts. I like this right here when you uh, look at a newspaper carefully, you look at the words, it just says blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I first ran into this game at a local candy store. I vividly remember Paperboy because it had a handlebar controller. It's the first time I ever saw something like that, so it left an impression until I ran into games like Hang On. Then Paperboy became like a distant memory. You have three difficulties to choose from, so it's up to you how fast you want to lose your quarter. In my opinion, Paperboy is a game of memorization and timing. Everything moves in a set pattern, so you have to figure out when certain things happen. Once you've figured out the patterns and the proper timing went to throw the newspapers, man, you just got it. You, you got it. Paperboy was a popular arcade game that had numerous ports, and when I say numerous ports, I mean numerous ports, which always helps with the game's longevity. So if you're interested, if you run into this game on a main list, take it out for a spin, let me know what you think.